Hey, my name is Nelson George. I'm an author of many, many books on black music, culture, and history. And I'm proud to say that my latest book is about to come out, The Hippest Trip in America, Soul Train, Evolution of Culture and Style. The story of the book uh, in particular, we deal with several major things. One is the dancers. I profile in detail many of the great dancers. Tyrone Proctor, uh, one of the people who really popularized whack dancing, who's still around and is going to be doing some appearances with me. The great Rosie Perez, who's a neighbor of mine in Brooklyn, who was part of the 80s crew. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Saturday Morning Ritual was to watch Soul Train, see the dancers, see the songs, see the style, and then to go out that next afternoon and try and recreate as many of those dances as we could. I got to meet and interview Don Cornelius numerous times to visit the Soul Train set and to get a sense of its impact during the 80s, which was a very expansive era for both Soul Train and for black music. There had never been a show like Soul Train, there had never been a vehicle for black music to be seen internationally and globally, not just singer singing, but the dances that went with it and the style that went with it. Soul Train started at a moment in the early 70s when Essence, Black Enterprise, black media culture was expanding. Soul Train was integral to that story. The journey of Soul Train is a journey of black culture, the relationship to hip hop, and the legacy of Soul Train going forward, is this still a legacy that um, is relevant? And I think it is. We're going to end this video with a little Soul Train dance of my own. A celebration of the hippest trip in America. Soul Train, the evolution of culture and style. Coming in March 2014.